very sand. Uh, I do contemporary pollination, mandala and geometric design as well. Been tattooing since 2016. I got into field of uh, contemporary pollination because of like my the fungus, my tattoo master, the one who blessed me to do this type of work, and I just been um, spreading the knowledge to for, from one person to another. Contemporary pollination from what Sulwapi uh, Isaiah said that you know uh, we need to contemplate what we have now because the um, tradition is too far forward for people to grasp on to, for people to have to understand so from bone tools now we use like the surgical steel or the machines and then from soup and water now we use the proper ink so we could form in public for them to be more acceptable the reason why we do the contemporary is because the motif that was been passed on for me the next generation is keeping the lineage alive. The lineage tattoo. So you know, lineage tattoo has been passed on from one person to another. We just don't give like just a tattoo because like most of the time what you do is like get the work done and get out, you know. For us like after we do the work, we explain to people what's what, especially the motif and then the the meaning and symbol because like that's our responsibility towards the tattoo we do. And next to the the free gates that becomes an island. The motif is um, what our ancestor like uh, put out like thousands of years ago before Christianity. Um, so the motif is basically everywhere. So they use that to translate and then put the meaning so that the person's story could be. Um, could be uh, shown or could be explained using the mark on their body. But you don't draw the motif, you just tattoo it straight up. Islander tattoo is the only tattoo that every time we look at it, we read them. We don't look at it as it is. So every stack, every line, every design has its own purpose. Like this motif right here, this is the waves and the fish. The waves and the fish, they're both blessing, but uh, the, the fish is swimming against the current. That's why it's called perseverance. In order for you to catch a blessing, you need to persevere. This is like the one of the motif that inherent from my Tufunga, the Kuya. He gave that to me when he was like doing it. When he was tattooing his client, he was like explaining to me what's what. And I um, asked him, can I use that? Is it like, that's the reason why I'm explaining to you, for you to use it, you know? Yeah. So that's like one of the proof that the lineage from his side was passing on to me. Favorite motif? I think in Filipino motif, my favorite is like the, the matamata of the eye of the ancestor. Because the eye of the ancestor means like you don't lose your way and then they guide you. They look after you. And that's what lineage is all about like the people behind you they keep an eye they watch you um, progress and that's for me that's really like important you have to guide the young ones nowadays for them to know what's what and then the responsibility that you pass on to them they have to acknowledge that Like what my Tufunga always said, whenever you, before you tattoo the person, you have to do, you have to do a sit down. So the difference between the sit down and the consultation, consultation is basically you um, just going to ask the person what time, date, and then they deposit. The traditional way of doing a sit down is to um, be more like open to the, to the tattooer to explain to them what's it for and what's the person's, um, basically like, what the person's made of. Having his own, uh, having the person's character, having the person's um, story, and then translate that using this design. And then after we settle, or after the person uh, explained their story, then I explained to them what motif I would put um, to translate that. And then from there, I always tell them like there's no design, there's no um, rough sketch that I could show to them. Everything has to be freehand and freestyle. I understand a lot of people is doesn't, I, they don't want uh, uh, assurance be, um, about the design. But you know the only 
thing I could assure you is like all the people that are tattooed went to the same process of it. Um, so if you're good with that, that's why I always give them a time to think about it if they're not 100% sure because like to get this tattoo, you have to be committed. The essence of this type of work, it's a reminder that don't lose your way. You know, like sometimes you're not you're in the you know like in the bottomless pit and you feel like you're lost. The tattoo reminds you that you know where you're going, where you're heading, and it reminds you the responsibility that you have to yeah that you have to uphold for your own rights and why you're getting, you know. Like one of the essence of this one is like you're telling your own story using the design and motif, you know? And so you have to be proud of it.